Hi, my name's Rand Lindsley, co-founder of Trail Designs, and today we're here to talk about the Veravent windscreen. The Veravent windscreen comes in three sizes, the four inch, six inch, and eight inch. The Veravent comes in its own packaging with an instruction set and clip for use in assembling it later. It's made out of malleable aluminum like most windscreens you're used to. Only the top and bottom are rolled for protection and to remove sharp edges. But the big advantage of the Veravent is the variable venting along the bottom edge. The venting along the bottom edge is, are all individually adjustable so that you can perfectly control the amount of air that comes into your stove and uh, pot setup. In this case, I'm using the four inch windscreen for demonstration purposes. You wanna size your windscreen so that it is the height of your pot plus your pot stand so that your pot handles will fit over the windscreen. The real interesting part about the Veravent is that when you put it together in its setup state, you can actually take multiple vents like this, line them up and push them through so that it locks the windscreen into place. In addition, the bobby clip that came with the thing, came with the Veravent, can be used to hold it together as well. When you set it up for the wind, what you want to do is you want to make sure that on the upwind side, all of the vents are closed to block the air from hitting your, not to block the air, but to block the wind from hitting your stove. Then as you come around the back side, you want to open these vents up so that your stove can breathe. If the wind's coming from this direction, you don't want to actually put your vents out this way because the wind will catch the vent and blow into your stove. So if the wind's coming this way, you want to push the vents on the left side in, but then the vents on the other side, you want to push out like that so that the wind comes off of it. To show the windscreen in use, let's pull up your pot stand and your stove. Then as discussed, you can push the vents together to hold it in place. Place it around your stove and pot stand. And then place your pot on top of your pot stand like that. That's it. Wait for your food to boil and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Head on over to traildesigns.com to check out this and a whole lot of other cool ultralight backpacking gear.